Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around June 5th, okay? Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This means that not this reading may not be for you. All right, so let's see, what do we got? What do we got for right around the 5th? Well, Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's it's receiving balance, getting somebody maybe getting what they deserve. So, you know, receiving a gift that brings them balance could bring money, could be an increase. King of Swords reverse. Somebody's going to be getting what they deserve. Put it that way. Anyhow, the King of Swords reverse is typically not a good person. You know, this is somebody that is abusive. Could be abusive generosity here. Because this is a generous offer. I mean, but it could be coming from somebody that doesn't have good intentions. This is somebody that is a dictator, that is ruthless, that, you know, is cold and abusive, you know, that is dishonest. So somebody could be receiving an offer. You know, it appears to be... Uh, a good offer, but I don't think that it is. Let's just cut this back real quick. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse is somebody that lacks integrity. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Pentacles reversed. So this is not a team player, okay? It's not. The Three of Pentacles reversed is not a team player. This is somebody that doesn't work well with others. Okay, somebody needs to focus on their stability. They need to focus on themselves. It may be better to do your own thing. Anyhow, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is taking advantage of somebody, you know, um, disrespect as well. There will be disrespect. So anyhow, I feel like there's an offer here that, is, that has come. It may have already come from an individual that is disrespectful. This person may not want to take care of themselves or they're financially unstable. This person uh, may want to be, I feel like they're taking advantage of somebody's skills. They disrespect others. Um, there could be a financial loss in the end. Or whoever you're dealing with may be going through some sort of um, financial problems because they can't work with others well. They don't listen to advice. Um, they. This is somebody that is very... Um, it's a dictator. It's like it's my way or the highway. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is reversed. That means you need to find your discipline to take action. Remember your value. Remember your worth, okay? That's what this is. This will not work out. It will not be long-term situation. Uh, Three of Pentacles reversed. This is like... Uh, disharmony okay it's like not able to communicate effectively we got somebody here that may be selfish they may be they even want may even do things against the law this could be like criminal activity to obtain money you know doing something against the law it could be um Could even be like a theft. I mean, I just got to be honest. I mean, there's a dishonest individual here who does have ulterior motives. And it has to do with money for sure. Because all the three other cards, this one and the two that I just cut, is about money. Okay? It is about money. It's about, you know, I mean, you, somebody may offer you a position. Or they offer you, or they make some sort of donation. Or they give you something that, uh, well... To collaborate with them or to work with them and it's just it's, it's somebody that you that is unreasonable anyhow um wow there is deception here there is this is scheming we definitely have a schemer here could definitely be a theft okay this is like taking credit for somebody else's work there's uh this is a high risk it's a scam it's a con i think that you need to be very careful Somebody may be receiving an offer that is a scam, okay? This, and this could even be like a hacker, you know? This is, this is untrustworthy, 
okay? This is an unworkable plan. This is somebody that is very two-faced. It is deceit, okay? It's malice. This is a warning. This is a warning. It is. Not good news at all. This is not good news. This is somebody that uh, doesn't have anything good to say. This is unreliable. This is um, somebody that is mean-spirited. Maybe somebody that is younger. You know, and maybe doesn't have to be because we have an older person here as well. We may even have three people that are working as a team because we have the three of pentacles reversed to deceive. I would say that being careful is, is definitely needed. Um, it's like that it won't. This has failed to launch something not, you know, coming to fruition. You may receive an opportunity, but it won't come to fruition. Um, Two of Wands is playing it safe. You may, you may want to play it safe in this circumstance. This is making a decision, okay? Making a decision based on the facts. Will this really bring you balance? This has to do with justice, acting with integrity, making a fair and just decision. I would say that you're, somebody is receiving an offer that is untrustworthy. There's deception here. This is a scheme that has to do with money. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is uh, two paths. This is a big decision. You may want to withdraw. Justice is a, is a decision. The two of wands is a decision. This is at that crossroads. Do I stay or do I go? Do I take the offer or do I play it safe? So the offer comes in. This is the decision. What do I do? What do I do? Is there any, is there any opportunity? Is there any real opportunity here? This will not bring happiness. This will not bring wish fulfillment. I feel like we have somebody here that has to make a decision whether they want to go in a new direction or not. And it may require leaving a relationship uh, because this is leaving behind a relationship that isn't happy. Maybe somebody is coming in that has left a relationship that is that they weren't happy in. They're looking for balance. They're looking for Maybe they're looking for somebody to take care of them. Because they have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. This may be somebody that is financially unstable. You know, so whether this is a, a complete, you know, this is a, a website scam or it's, it's whatever kind of scam this is, it's definitely a scam. You have to make a decision about your happiness and, and, and about yourself, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is about self-value. It's about your worth. It's about what you can contribute. You know, do you know your value? Do you know your worth? Are you capable of taking care of yourself? Don't let loneliness uh, drive you into something that is abusive or that you know isn't going to come to fruition. You know, sometimes people get so lonely or they lack financially that they sign up for things, contracts. This is a contract. Uh, don't, I would say not to sign any contracts or get yourself in any contracts that don't have any lasting, uh, energy here. This is not, I don't feel like it will last. Um, Making a decision about some sort of relationship, partnership, okay? You need to really think, okay? Don't leap, don't jump, don't rush into anything. Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, wow, wow. That is, that is the death of a situation. That is goodbye. That is goodbye in the future. This is emotional dissatisfaction, betrayal. This hurts. It, I'm telling you what. There's somebody is receiving or they have received an offer from somebody that will not bring them happiness. It will not. 
It will be, this is betrayal. It is betrayal. This is, this is betrayal. This will hurt, okay? The Ten of Swords is, is, it's like a catastrophe. It's the death of a situation. It, it's, is going as low as you can go. It's being defeated. It's over. I mean, Eight of Cups is goodbye. It's over. It's over, you know? Uh, so I feel like there's definitely somebody is receiving or they have received an offer from somebody that is uh, cold. This person is very cold and selfish and abusive. There's bad news here. There is some sort of bad news. There could be a sudden departure from a relationship that, you know, sometimes I, people don't want to be alone as well. This nine of pentacles reverse. Sometimes people will do anything not to be alone. Eight of cups is goodbye. It's goodbye unhappiness, the end of suffering. So somebody, you know, this is goodbye unhappiness the end of suffering in the future but there's been some sort of somebody's been seriously betrayed wow now this is some sort of truth about a relationship Somebody has been staying put, playing it safe. This is bad news. I wonder if there's some news that is arriving that brings some sort of truth, okay? Some sort, this is justice. A fair and just decision being made about a relationship. This is a dying dream, leaving home. Not happy at all making the decision about the relationship. The Page of Swords is being caught off guard. Something is definitely being said or done. There's some sort of questioning things, questioning the facts, um, discerning. There could even be an enemy here. Good saying goodbye to the enemy. You know, that is an enemy. The Page of Swords can be an enemy in the camp or an enemy disguised as a friend. There could even be a spy here, somebody that is watching, you know, they're, they're hurting another person anyway. There's some sort of pain. I feel like we have a painful separation here. I do. The Page of Swords, the message is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. A message that brings conflict. Somebody's leaving. They're leaving. It's over. It's over. It's, it, they're leaving. It's over. It's over. There, there's, I feel like we have somebody here that has been stepping in some, on somebody's toes, you know. It's time for a departure. It's time to go. It is. It's time to go. There has to, there's some sort of justice here as well because to me, this is, this could be a card of justice. This can too. So I wonder if somebody has been scheming. They could be getting caught. Somebody, we may have an abusive individual that has gotten caught. They've gotten caught stealing or doing something, you know. They may have. Page of Wands reverse is a setback. It's bad news. Somebody's getting some news about a relationship. Somebody may have suddenly uh done something sudden a sudden decision spur of the moment decision you need to be careful of the decisions that you make because there's some sort of consequences here justice is a card of consequences somebody may be suddenly leaving a relationship because they they lied they cheated they stole something like that goodbye goodbye it's over it's over there's something some sort of truth that is coming out for sure Somebody definitely could be getting caught. 
doing something. That page of swords is a message is coming. Something is definitely over. It's the end of some sort of suffering. Somebody is leaving. They're going somewhere. Um, somebody may also be talking behind somebody's back. You know, this is like talking behind somebody's back and it hurts. It hurts really, really bad. This is somebody that is saying things that hurt. Hangman reverse, refusing to change. Highly egotistical. We have somebody here that is extremely egotistical. They are obsessed with control. They're fighting their inner selves. Somebody is hiding something. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Libra, very much. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. We also have Pisces. Somebody's been hanging on to a painful situation. They have been hanging on. They've been refusing to let go. It hurts really, 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 really bad. There's a message that is coming that they do not want to hear. There's some sort of self-sacrifice here. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves to prove a point. It is ending, though. Something is ending. There could even be some punishment that is coming. Because we have somebody here that will not change. They will not change no matter what. They're struggling to let go. They're struggling to separate. They're struggling to accept the truth. Somebody is really struggling. They're receiving a message that hurts. This is a painful message. This may be the straw that breaks the camel's back. It may be. It may be the message that sets somebody free. The truth may set somebody free from a situation. Um, you do have to be careful. I feel like somebody has been scammed, right? They've been scammed or they've been taken advantage of. You know, remember that nine of pentacles reverse at the bottom. I'm, I mean, that's a cut that is like being taken advantage of financially, you know, or somebody may have um, not known their value, not known their worth and worked with somebody that put them in a third party situation. There's a lot of disrespect here. There is disrespect with that three of uh, pentacles reversed. There's a lack of integrity, but this is the truth. There's some sort of truth that is coming out. This is the, there's been some sort of injustice, but there's some sort of uh, realignment here. There may be somebody that is saying things, you know, this person doesn't care. They just got something to say. This may be like a catalyst that is uh, revealing some sort of truth in regards to a relationship. There's a restless energy here. We have somebody here that is restless, you know, um, and they're thinking, they're thinking about their relationship. They're in a relationship with somebody where there's no passion. There is some sort of getting caught here. Somebody's getting caught, maybe red handed. I don't know, I wanted to say red handed. Anyhow, goodbye, goodbye, uh, some sort of truth or information coming out that breaks somebody free. It does hurt. The truth does hurt. It does. Um, there, somebody has been playing it safe in the relationship, not moving on into the blindfold, in denial. But this truth, this truth is, I feel like it's, it's, it's bad news. It is bad news. may have something to do with a child. I'm, I don't know. Um, there's somebody that is younger here that is bringing out this news. This is a dying dream. It is. It's a dying dream. It's, it's leaving home. Leaving home. Somebody is leaving home. They may be changing their living situation. There's an unhappy couple here. 
Three of Pentacles. Now, Three of Pentacles upright is about working with somebody else, collaborating with somebody else. And we had this at the beginning. I feel like we have somebody here that's been in a third party situation. You know, whoever they've been dealing with has been working with somebody else, showing them what they got. This is goodbye. It is goodbye. Doing something while they are at work. And, and the, the hangman is hiding things in reverse. It's hiding things. So somebody's been hiding things. Maybe it has to do with communication, communicating while they're at work or something like that. Hidden communication. This is hidden communication. And I wonder if somebody's doing some sort of investigation. They're spying and they're seeing the communication. They're seeing the collaboration. And it's heartbreaking, you know. I feel like we have somebody here that is, is I don't know if they're, it's like a tracker of some sort, you know, if they're putting, doing something to track another person and they're seeing, they're seeing something and it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. The hangman reverse that is struggling to let go. I feel like we have somebody here that's going to be doing something behind the scenes. They're taking a new approach. This is an investigative energy as well. I feel like there's some sort of investigation going on, you know, and there's some sort of communication or collaboration that gets revealed that probably, you know, this is goodbye. This is goodbye to working together in this relationship. This isn't, this isn't working out this relationship, this partnership. Somebody has been in denial of the truth, but it's like they receive the truth and it hurts. And so, yeah. That's what I got. So this is information that is coming out. It's a message that you do not want to hear. That I, and I feel like it, it, it's painful. It hurts. And it's, it sets somebody free. Free from the third party relationship or whatever it is. Good luck.